In a surprise move, Viacom interim CEO Tom Dooley, who has been with the company for more than three decades, will depart in November. The media giant has also said it will cut its dividend in half. Both moves believed to potentially help the company get its finances in order. Joining us now to discuss is WSJ Media and Marketing Deputy Bureau Chief Sarah Rabel. Sarah, great to see you. You too. So we know Dooley has been with the company for over 30 years. He was sure. potentially in line to become the next CEO. Do we know the story behind his departure? Archer? Look, that's still being played out. But at this point, I mean, he was only uh, tapped as interim CEO. And it was never said it was going to be a permanent position. And the thing you have to keep in mind is Dooley represents the past. He was closely aligned with Philippe Damon, who was ousted as CEO. And so if you really want to move forward from this, do you want to keep someone who's already been aligned with the company for so Absolutely. long? Absolutely. And so looking forward, do we have any indications of who might fill the role in November? You know, it remains to be seen. Uh, it sounds like, according to Keith Hagee's reporting, they haven't hired a search firm yet. So there's still plenty of options. But you know, there's risks with both an internal candidate and an external candidate. You know, if you're bringing in someone from the outside, it takes a lot longer to come in, review the assets, figure out a path forward and right this ship. But if you're someone internal, the question is, okay, you've already been there all along during this tumultuous time. Like, what new ideas can you actually bring to the table that you didn't already? Absolutely. Now, we know that Viacom is facing, what, $12.4 billion debt. It has been under a lot of pressure to raise cash. So is this move in response to that? Sure. I mean, the dividend cut is a big part of buying themselves some time financially um, because they do have that debt burden. They're still investment grade credit rating, but all of the firms have them on a watch for a cut. And if they got cut to junk, that would have significant implications for their financial flexibility. So cutting the dividend, that saves them, I think it's about $300 million a year. So that does give them a little, a little bit of time to get things in order operationally so they actually boost the cash flow. And cutting the dividend also will cut the personal income of the Redstone family quite significantly by $30 million a year. Is that correct? So they are, But they're behind this, obviously. I mean, you have to assume they are because it has such a big impact on them. And remember, they are the controlling shareholders in this company. You've got Sherry Redstone on the board. So anything, that big decision like this financially isn't going to happen without the Redstone signing off on it. Now, what about them saying they are no longer looking to sell a minority stake in Paramount Pictures? Sure. Now, remember, this has been an incredibly controversial issue for the last few months. Philippe Daman had proposed it. It was a way to raise cash, try to improve things at Paramount. But the Redstones were really, really against it. So they have been fighting this tooth and nail. And now the question is, you know, maybe they should actually spend some time focusing on improving things operationally, mm -hmm. getting more creative content going before you look to just raise cash off of Paramount. Right. Now you mentioned the credit ratings companies already have a negative outlook on Viacom. Just how bad is it? You know, it's not immediate, mm -hmm. um, but the problem is their cash flow and their revenue keep declining. You've got really troubled ratings and advertising sales at some of their networks. And so if you can't get that improved, then you do have an issue as this debt comes up for due. And, you know, the credit rating agencies are saying, look, you have a little bit of time, but you've got to get this going in the right direction. All right. We'll certainly be watching and looking to see who's in the top spot in November at Viacom. Sarah, thank you so much for that. Thanks for having me.